How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to my channel The Cosmic Wonder where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the MCU. Lately it's been kind of slow considering the fact that Marvel Studios has had to stop production on most of their current projects that they have going on for the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now including all Disney Plus shows and most of their movies. But fortunately for us they finished most of the filming for the WandaVision series and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series as well before they had to shut down. But now Marvel Studios is slow starting to open back up and pretty soon they'll finish all production on the WandaVision series and the Falcon and the Winter Soldier series as well. And there's also news of some Eternals reshoots as well which we'll talk about in this video of course. Now one show that's not completely done and still has a lot of shooting left is the Loki series. This was a series that was in the middle of filming when everything got shut down. But the good news is is that they have the first season planned out. So when they resume production things should go pretty smoothly. And recently I stumbled upon a plot leak for the Loki series and it seems really interesting so I want to cover that today. But this leak involves a female version of Loki which is already confirmed to appear in the Loki series and involves a evil version of Thor. But first if you're new be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU and so you can enter this week's giveaway for a chance to win a Black Widow Funko Pop. All you got to do to enter is subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below. So like with any and all plot leaks, there's no way of us really knowing if this is real or not. But like with Avengers Endgame and Avengers Infinity War, some of the leaks that we go over end up being true. Again, there's no real way of knowing, but they're always fun to go over. So let's get into it. It begins by saying, the Loki series will begin in a room of interrogation with the TVA, the Time Variance Authority. Now to understand this plot leak, you're going to have to understand who the Time Variance Authority are. And to put it very simplistically, the TVA is responsible for monitoring multiverses and different timelines. If one universe begins to affect another universe or one timeline begins to affect another timeline, it's their job to stop that interference or completely eliminate that universe or timeline in order to save the others. And of course, the TVA is already confirmed to be in the Loki series. We saw this in the Super Bowl teaser that they gave us for the Disney Plus shows. And the one scene that they showed us was with Loki in a TVA jacket kind of looking like a prison uniform, so we do know that this part in particular is true. Special Agent Mark, played by Owen Wilson, will be briefly introduced in Loki. And when they caught Loki, he had the Tesseract in his hand. And of course, the TVA took the Tesseract from him. While in custody of the TVA, they blame the entire events of the first Avengers film on him. In the events of the first Avengers film, they opened up a wormhole. And this wormhole led to other universes, and now it's up to the TVA to fix this. Special Agent Mark then takes Loki to what is called a Zero Time Zone. And not much information is really given about this zero time zone, but it seems to be a place where there is no time. And in this zero time zone, you can kind of go over events that have already happened, slowing down time or reversing it. And Mark will apparently take Loki through the events that happened in the Avengers and show him how the wormhole to the multiverse was created. And they show him how the Rift created three different universes, the main universe with the Avengers, an alternate version of Earth, and a universe in which they say there was a quantum catastrophe. The TVA then explains how Loki is going to help them fix this problem. Loki of course refuses and then he attempts to break out. Loki breaks out of his handcuffs, tosses an agent to the side and then sneaks past some guards into the room where the Tesseract is being held. Loki runs to the Tesseract and he almost touches it but then time suddenly starts to run backwards. Agent Mark ends up rolling back time and they end up in the room of interrogation where they started off and he tells Loki that he has no choice. Mark leaves Loki alone in the room and on the table there are files of the deaths of Odin, Frigga, and Loki at the hands of Thanos, which lead Loki to see that in a different timeline Thanos kills him. Next it shows a character by the name Mr. Mills who orders Mark to proceed to the second part of the plan. Next we enter a huge TVA room with hundreds of TVA employees that look almost the same. They all look like Mark. Now this is actually taken right from the comics. In the comics all of the staff of the TVA looked exactly the same. And they did this because Marvel was paying tribute to Mark Gruenwald who was a Marvel writer and editor. So the fact that all of the staff of the TVA is Mark as well makes a lot of sense because they're still paying tribute to him. 
In the room we meet a character called Mobius. In the comics, Mobius is a frequent manager and is also a clone of Mark. He's monitoring what is called the Fault for information, and it doesn't really give any information about the Fault, but we can assume it's something that monitors different timelines and different universes. He ends up finding a female version of Loki, and he tells Mark to go check it out. Mark takes along with him some soldiers and he goes to the location. However, while Morbius is examining it, he finds out that it's actually an alternate Earth, an Earth where Loki Loki actually killed Thor and now he's going on to battle at New York. We then cut back to the room in which Loki is at. Mark throws Loki a bracelet that says TVA on it which all prisoners of the TVA wear. Mark goes on to explain the situation about the alternate universe, saying that it's in danger of being destroyed. The fault no longer stops and they need to fix this on all three different universes that the wormhole opened. Mark tells Loki that they're going to need to cheat time and he's going to need the god of deception to do it. Loki says, gods, you want to call another me? And Mark says, no, someone better than you. We then go back to Agent Mills, who is seemingly being controlled by an unknown character. We see him go into a secret room inside of his office, one that has many different time devices, digital clocks, mechanical clocks, and hourglasses. And we find out that he's able to control time and universes through these devices. We then see Mark, Loki, and the rest of the TVA soldiers land on the alternate Earth. It's pouring down raining, and we actually do have leaked photos of this event. And in the leaked photos, it does seem like Loki is going on to help Mark, who of course is played by Owen Wilson. Mark says that they're heading to a site where something strange is happening, but he also explains that they cannot run into the Avengers, so they must take the object and leave before they run into him. Loki offers to play a time trick, but Mark explains that it won't work here, and it's only possible in the zero time zone. They get to the location of the event and they see female Loki, but it turns out that she's actually not the villain. She's trying to stop the event from happening. Here we see a black hole that is absorbing and sucking in everything around it. It creates copies of itself, absorbs a black hole, and then burns out. The black holes end up creating 10 different clones of the female Loki. Mark yells that it's useless now and he asks her to move away, but instead she throws Mark and the rest of his soldiers to the side. Loki, meanwhile, has done nothing and is just standing there in the background until him and Lady Loki lock eyes. When this happens, we see a flash of bright light. And here we see some flashbacks of the origin of female Loki. Here we see an alternate version of Asgard that has an evil version of Thor, an adult whose face we never see, but from the few scenes it becomes clear that Thor always dreamed of the throne, and in a struggle to obtain the throne killed his father Odin. After several flashbacks of battles, it shows a dead body of Thor on the ground and female Loki on the throne. The room is dark and and it's empty. We go back to normal present time in which Loki and the female Loki lie on the ground unconscious. The TVA agents manage to delay the last black hole so all of them can flee. They grab both Lokis and get on the capsule and flee. While on the capsule, Mark explains why the two Lokis passed out. He says that alternate versions of characters should never meet themselves. And he explains that some force out there is trying to unite the universes, which would lead to the destruction of all alternate versions of themselves, leaving only one. And apparently this effect has already started working. We then return back to the interrogation room, and Loki is staring at the female version of Loki in fright. Mark then enters the room, looks at Loki and says, I need to show you something. They go to a different room where the flow of time is represented by the projection of a river, kind of similar to what the Ancient One showed Bruce Banner in Avengers Endgame. Mark says that the fault affected 586 events in the universe, the universe of the original Avengers. The events created a time machine, and he says that the main problem is not that we need to govern something, but rather we actually need to repeat some of the events, that way the fault can be erased. And he tells Loki that he's going to have to stay out of it. But then he brings up the period of the 1960s, turns to Loki, and says, you need to kill someone. And that's the end of this plot leak. Now, right away, I have to say that if this is indeed a true plot leak, it seems very, very exciting and something that I would really love to see. And the biggest thing that I take away from this is the fact that they said that universes are starting to collide. Something is trying to unite all of the universes. And that is exactly what takes place in Avengers Secret Wars. All of the different multiverses end up colliding and we get multiple versions of multiple different characters all in one scene. 
And as most of us already know, the next big Avengers Endgame level event should be Avengers Secret Wars Battle World. So it looks like from the very beginning of Phase 4, Marvel's going to set up the events that are eventually going to lead to the final battle in Avengers Secret Wars. Which, no surprise here, this is exactly what Marvel does. They set up Thanos since the very first Avengers movie. And then, several, several years down the road, we finally got Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. So if this all ends up being true, we're in for some really exciting things in Phase 4 and the rest of the phases in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So things are getting really exciting a lot of production on a bunch of different projects are starting up again soon. Salma Hayek recently posted on her Instagram that she's getting ready for reshoots for the Eternals, so things are getting moving again. So let me know what you think about this plot leak in the comments down below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all things relating to the MCU. For live updates, you can follow me on Twitter, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.